This is the latest wicked cool thing I'm working on here at the cabin. This is going to be a thermal electric generator system. In the winter, we have very little sun to keep our batteries charged to power our electrical and electronic equipment. And, but we do have the wood stove going. So a thermoelectric generator is just the thing because the thermoelectric generator generates electricity from temperature difference. Get it really hot with a wood stove and cool the other side of it with spring water and voila, you get lots of electricity for keeping your batteries charged. So I've simulated it out here and this takes a little imagination, but I want you to imagine that the chair is a wood stove inside the cabin and the battery is also inside the cabin and the charge controller, which we'll see in a minute, is inside the cabin. This garbage can is right where it will be, so no imagination needed there. As you can see, we have spring water flowing into the garbage can from gravity. The spring is way over there, and fortunately it's a little bit higher than where we are, so this is just flowing by gravity. And then this water, this pipe here, is sucking water out of the garbage can by siphon action because it's a sealed system going up into one side of the water jacket around the thermoelectric generator and then out the other side. And the discharge pipe is at a lower elevation than the intake pipe. And so we're getting this flow that you see here. So thermoelectric generator requires temperature difference. The wood stove will make one side of it really hot the spring water flowing through it will make the other side cold. We'll get electricity because of the temperature difference. And as an added bonus, in addition to the cold water that we have on the porch all the time in winter, we will now have a source of hot water also on the porch because the discharge side of the thermoelectric generator will be discharging hot water cold side, hot side. No pumps, so we're not wasting any of the electricity we generate powering a pump. This is all being done by gravity. Even though the thermoelectric generator is higher than the water reservoir, it is running by gravity because it is siphoning down to this lower elevation. And if we want more flow, we just move the end of this pipe still lower. And we got lots of hillside. If we want to run it way down the hillside and have lots of flow, we can do that. The electricity will come out these wires that are attached to the thermoelectric generator. And we'll go into this charge controller and then wires from the charge controller We'll go into the battery, and the battery in turn will power our lights, radio, computers, internet, and telephone.